just a bunch of kids Power, power, powerhouse How if we took a cosmic hit? Remind me again why I'm driving you guys around at 3 in the morning. Because you're our designated driver. A uh, duh. Yeah, but I didn't agree to be. Stop asking questions, inquisitive ass Rick. You're desexifying the car. Don't you two have a child? Relax. We got a sitter. Dear Venereal Disease Magazine, first of all, it was worth it. I'll tell you that. You let Block the Pussy take care of your kid? That's like giving your baby to a dingo. A horny ass dingo. Rick, you're just grumpy because you're the fifth wheel. We need to get you a girl. <sighs> Wait, why don't you go out with my twin sister, Marjorie? Come on, Rick. She's just her type. Plus, she's got a great derriere, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. But not because of that lame ass pun. What the f's a pun? This is stupid. How could someone related to Butterface possibly be my type? Good evening. You must be Rick. Sorry I'm late. I was stuck at work tutoring special needs children. Oh. My. God. Smart, sweet, and polite? You can't be Butterface's identical twin. <laughs> oh, we're not identical. I'm low fat. Shall we? Yes, the f we shall. Let's go, girl. I can't believe we have so much in common, Marjorie. You just get me. Me too. I really feel a connection. <gasps> Is this R. Kelly's Chocolate Factory? <gasps> I love this album. <sighs> you know what would be cool? A Hunger Games Twilight crossover movie. <gasps> you complete me. What was that? Nothing. Marjorie. This has been the most incredible night. I've never felt this way about anyone before. I know. It's like we're made for each other. I made us a special dinner. Um, what are you doing? I'm making my move, baby. I meant the food. You expect me to eat that? I told you, Rick. I'm low fat. But I made it special for you. Isn't it romantic? I'm sorry, but I can't. If you want to be with me, you have to stop eating fatty foods. Hmm. Don't worry, baby. You know I'd sacrifice anything for you. <laughs> Damn, Rick. I always knew you liked wieners more than you like girls. <laughs> Typical wiener-loving Rick. <laughs> That's a good guy, though. <laughs> Typical Rick. Just can't get enough of those wieners. Hey, man, those shits are tasty. Yeah, I guess you're right. So, guys, make sure to subscribe and tune in next week for our Thanksgiving episode next Monday. Gobble, gobble.